Once again, thank you for joining me here today. Jimmy Cole talking about uh, everything equipped bench press. And uh, today I've got a good topic. i uh, got a lot of questions coming up, not just on YouTube, on Instagram as well, uh, about wrists, forearms, wrist wraps. So today I'm going to talk everything uh, wrist wrap related and how you should be using them for your heavy bench presses. So uh, let's uh, get started. So everything we're going to talk about today is going to help not just with uh, your bench press prowess, but also with uh, wrist pain. I get some, I have wrist pain comments. So hopefully today this video is going to maximize your results on the bench, starting with one of the most simple things, which is of course wrist positioning. So for the sake of my immobility and my, it's going to be hard for me to stay like this and show you like benching this way. I'm going to keep my forearm in this position to show uh, wrist to forearm relations. Wrist pain is a very common thing with heavy bench pressing. Oftentimes I see it's caused by uh, lack of technique and also improper wrapping. We'll start with where the bar should be sitting in the hand as this can have a big effect on your positioning of the wrist. So if you look at my palm right here, uh, I've got a lot of callus buildup. You can see that right there of course too. I want to carry the bar low what's on what's called the heel of the palm. What I don't want to do, and oftentimes this is what I see when people have these wrist problems, they're carrying the bar up more towards the base of the fingers. And when you carry a bar high in this in the, this part of the hand, that's going to cause your wrist to bend backwards. Now, this heel of the palm is in direct line with your forearm. So I want to carry the bar low in the palm so I can keep my wrist straight or with a slight cant back. You're always going to have a little bit of backward angle, but you don't want to be in one of these positions here. You do want to be sort of the bar is in perfect line, perfect position with your line of force in the bench press. This was one of the earliest things I had to learn because I had wrist pain. I was also using cheap uh, nylon or cheap uh, neoprene wraps that I got from a little sports store in Ohio called Dunham's similar to a Dick Sporting Goods. If you have a Dunham's in your area, let me know because I don't think they're everywhere. They were literally like 12 inches long. You could stretch them like this. Gave almost no support. It wasn't until 2008 I got my first pair of actual wrist wraps from a reputable company, APT. I was competing at a local meet in uh, Canton, Ohio and uh, Santa Claus showed up because it was uh, in December and he was throwing out like gifts into the crowd and I got a pair of 36 inch wrist wraps and I've used nothing but 36 inch wrist wraps from this point forward Obviously now I'm with Anderson powerlifting and we use the KLA line of wraps and My particular favorite that I'm going to showcase today and talk about wrapping is the KLA 5000s The stiffest wraps Anderson has ever come out with if you go to AndersonPowerlifting.com and want a pair of these KLA 5000s or other models that they have you can use code Colbstrong to get 10% off your order Okay, now that we've talked about positioning in the hand, again, do not carry it high at the base of the fingers. Carry it low on the heel of the palm, right there on that bone. Again, keeping the bar in line with the forearm. Now we're gonna talk about wrapping the wrists. Now just for frame of reference, this is not a properly wrapped wrist. And why is that? Well, it's because I still have full mobility of my hand right now. This is one of the most common ways that I see people wrapping their wrist. They're actually wrapping their forearm. As you can see here, I have, <laughs> I can still move my wrist and this is not going to provide any kind of support for your hand. Now again, these are called wrist wraps. They are not forearm wraps. What I like to do is not even utilize the thumb loop as it's originally intended. Uh, you're supposed to put your thumb through it like that and then wrap your wrist. I find it's a pain in the ass to then take it off your thumb. So I'm just going to grab the thumb loop. What I want to try to do is get the wrap as high on the back of my hand as I can while keeping it off the palm to stay legal in competition. So instead of wrapping completely straight like this, the first wrap was going to start straight. As I come over the top, I'm going to come as high on the back of the hand as I possibly can and angle it back down to stay off the palm. Angle it back up on the top of the hand, back off the palm, and then high on the back of the hand, off the palm. That is legal. It's off the palm, but it's high on the back of the hand. Now it's act an actual wrist wrap, and it's limiting my mobility. This isn't even a tight wrap. 
It's limiting my mobility with my hand backwards, providing support, keeping my wrist stacked and in line with my forearm, just like that. Okay, so there is the wrist positioning. Again, barbell placement in the hand, as well as how to properly wrap the wrist, not the forearm. Got another example, just grabbing my forearm here. I can rotate my hand. If I put my, my hand on the back of my hand covering the wrist, okay, now I've lost that mobility and it's gonna add that support. Another thing you could try is something I really advocate for, something that I've talked about a lot on my lives and on Instagram and on here a couple of times, is my version of the reverse grip bench press. So by holding the barbell between these two fingers, now it is a little bit uncomfortable on the bone right here because the bar sitting vertically in the hand, not horizontal, that is going to bring the barbell in perfect alignment with the center of mass here of my forearm. Now, yes, your wrists are canted backwards, but the majority of the stress is placed on this bone in the palm. It's not actually forcing your hand back. So it's not as uncomfortable as it may look. And it's a very powerful grip because all of your force being pushed into the barbell is going from your shoulders, upper arm, forearm, directly into the palm, directly into the barbell. So if you are experiencing wrist problems, that is again, something you could try to negate those wrist pains, but also have a very powerful form of bench pressing. All right, that should about do it for today about wrapping your wrist, doing it properly and trying to maximize your leverage. You're trying to do the most weight possible on a certain lift. These little tiny details really become magnified and you have to fine tune them and never forget about your basics. If you are interested in the wrist wraps I featured in this video, the KLA, that's Kilo Lima Alpha, KLA 5000s. We'll have a link in the description below. Again, use code Colbstrong if you want 10% off. That discount is good for everything that Anderson Powerlifting sells, except for the F8 Sportcraft Bench Bar. Anderson Powerlifting has a wide range of different wrist wraps from different lengths to different strength levels. Everything from the KLA 1000s, the entry level wraps, all the way up to the stiffest wrap they've ever come out with, the all black KLA 5000s. As always, thank you for watching this video and hanging out with me here today. If you really liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below if you have any more questions. And until next time, stay strong.